Okay, we've got a 2005 55 plate BMW R1200 GS and it has done 22,195 miles. Um, that flashing brake failure, that's completely normal on a BMW. So it's, it's an ABS model. The second you start riding, it self calibrates again and then that goes straight out. So I'm going to show you around the bike. Um, it's got it's low mileage, it's got a good service history, uh, it has some weathering in places which I will show you, um, so it will do you a warts and all video, and then you can be the judge if it's for you or not. So, first of all we've got this little sort of stick on deflector for wing, on top of a standard BMW screen, it's adjustable. It's in generally good condition, it has no damage on it. Again, it's got some aging on it, some general use. I think most people would uh, not think of changing that yet. Look at the headlight, there's no damage. Just a couple of, again, marks, general use. Same with the oil cooler at the front. Call this the beak. You can't see any damage on that. Around this side, there's a couple of little marks, but I'll show you that when I get round to that side of the bike. Front mud guard is good. Front tyre looks like a Metzler Tourance, and it's got all of its shape, and it's got loads of tread left on it. Uh, one thing I can see, so this is the weathering I'm talking about. Um, BMWs, and particularly the R series, all the boxes. So, but to be fair, all BMWs suffer from it. So they suffer from this issue where on all the paintwork is nice on the body panel, all the switch gear is good, but on the aluminium parts or the alloy parts, whatever the material actually is, where you get to the end of a painted surface, you sometimes get like water creep. So you get a little bit of water, get underneath the surface of the paint, and it just blows the paint off a little bit. And on some bikes it's worse than others. I've seen a lot worse, but I've also seen better than this one. So I'm gonna, again, I'll show you what's and all. Front wheel, generally all nice, but again, on the very, very end, where the bright disc goes on, we've got that in places. Forks are good, caliper looks perfectly fine. The front of the engine, this is one of the panels that takes the worst of the hit on a, on a boxer. Um, plastic cover is all good, and the front panel, has been repainted and I would suspect that's been repainted because of the because of the weathering issue. Headers look in good condition again got signs of weathering but I can't see any rot at all and then on the fins we can see that that weathering is in that exhaust is hot um, that weathering is in quite a few places all down the beak, nice condition, no marks on the end of the indicator, no damage at all on this plastic panel, a couple of marks on the end of the handguard, completely secure, nothing broken, a couple of tiny marks on the end of the mirror, the mirror's all good. And then looking at all the cockpit and the dash area, we've got heated grips, all the switch gear is in good condition. Uh, with higher mileage ones, we'll often see that the the writing will wear off, but this is all really good condition, to be honest. Um, and the grips usually wear a lot more than this as well. So, let's turn it on. Everything does as it should do. And then off the top of the tank, it's nice, couple of little marks there. And then uh, on the top of the tank, there's a couple of marks there. Like somebody's rubbed that down, which was probably a sign of that weathering again. Seats are in good condition, front is height adjustable on a GS. And on this model, if you take the rear seat off, you've actually got a luggage rack. And when you've got these panniers on, you can just about see what you end up with is a completely flat. Uh, flat panel if you like which covers both panniers and where the rear seat would be so if you're going camping or carrying anything bigger and heavier 
you've got a really large load area. So I showed you the weathering around the front. And again, that is in, you know, where the suspension comes to the back, top of the engine, that's all there. All the frame looks good. Where the starter motor is everywhere is good. Where the drive shaft goes in is good. All the drive shaft and swing arm is absolutely fine. A couple of tiny marks there. And again, just a little bit of that weathering. So the majority of it is actually on the front of the engine, which kind of makes sense. That's what's taking the brunt. We've got the BMW Vario panniers, uh, which are in perfectly good function order, but they have got some marks from, from use over the years. And there's a little mark there, which looks like a little burn. I would guess that has been put against a hot exhaust or something like that at some point. But they, uh, they work perfectly fine. I will just show you if they're open. So when they open, so that's where we are now. We've got this little bar inside here. If we pull that bar, and all of a sudden, as if by magic, then we've got much 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 bigger storage area if you don't want that on all you do is you pull that up you take that clip off there you pull that there and you walk away so they go on and off the bike super super quick just leave that off there for now so we can look in and a really good look around the bike Some parts of the bike are really, really nice condition. Some parts are very weathered. So I fully appreciate it won't be for everybody, but then it's, uh, it's a very competitive price too. Obviously got a center stand on it, which looks like it has been repainted. Again, rear tire is also a Metz Torrance. squared off a touch, but there's absolutely loads and loads of tread on that. Rear mud guard is all secure. And then the top box, it's all, let me get the keys. The top box is fully functioning, but this handle has been repaired. So there is a, a little metal plate been on the back, a little bit of aerodyne or something like that there. So it's completely secure. It won't affect you riding the bike at all. Only thing I would say is that in terms of, I wouldn't want to be carrying it around from the handle with about 20 kilos in it. But, you know, if you use common sense, you'd be fine. And again, that's the top box. So they call it the Vario system because obviously it is variable. So, all fine. Let's mount this. It's even nice the fact that you can just leave the panniers unlocked. You don't have to leave the key in like a lot of give you systems. So yellow button opens the pannier. And on this side obviously you've got very very little space because you've got the exhaust behind it. But then when you put the very bit out you do get a fair bit more. There you go. And again, red tab up. Bring that one up. And do that lock there. And the whole box just comes straight off. And you've just got these integrated pannier racks there and there. And there. Exhaust is nice condition. Rear wheel, again, it's got the paint bubbling up in places. Frame generally nice condition, it's been touched in a few places. Seats are good over here. So there's the tank. Some more marks under the handguard, a couple of marks under the mirror, but again, it's all good condition, it's all secure. You know, in terms of it's not broken, obviously it's marked, but it's not broken. No marks on that panel. 
Again, you've got marks where well, you've got the paint bubbling up in places. And then up on this metal part again, got the paint bubbling up in places. Uh, and we've got a couple of little chips there. So, positives, it's low mileage, it's got a good history. It's got four luggage, which a lot of them don't have, but it does have the uh, the BMW weathering problem, worse than some other bikes. So that's, uh, I guess, a question for you as to what your priorities are. But you can come and look at the bike now yourself. It's in our showroom. We're in Sittingbourne, Kent. We're in from 9am to 5pm Tuesday to Saturday. And if you've got any questions at all, please give us a call.